Hello students, welcome to Sort of Search classes. Today we are going to solve CAT 2017 question paper. In our last videos, we have solved questions up till 95. So now we are going to start with question number 96. So let's see what question 96 says. Question 96 says the shortest distance of the point half comma one from the curve y equal to in mods x minus one plus x plus one in mods is okay. So we need to find the shortest distance of this point from the given curve so seeing this you know that we need to draw a graph with the curve and the point so let us draw our graph so basically this is our graph and so we have been given an equation where we have two different terms in two different modes so seeing this these both terms can be either positive or negative so from two terms we can get our four total equations so let us jot down our four equations so this is our given equation here we have x plus 1 equal to in brackets we have our first equation will be y equal to when x this first and the second both are positive we have x minus 1 plus x plus 1 which will give us 2x now our second equation will be when our first term is positive second term is negative will be x minus 1 minus of x minus 1 which will be equal to minus 2 our third equation will be when this is positive this is negative and the second one is positive this will be minus x plus 1 plus x plus 1 so this will be equal to 2 and fourth equation when both are negative so this will be y equal to minus x plus 1 minus x minus 1 so this will be equal to minus 2x so our both four values of y are y equal to 2x from here our second is y equal to minus 2 from this one third is y equal to 2 from this one and the fourth one is y equal to minus 2x from this one so we have got our four values of y so let us now draw the graph so for this we need some space so let us remove this part so here we have all the four values of y so now let's plot the graph so first one is y equal to 2x so when value of y is 0 x will be 0 so our first point will be the origin which is here so let me draw this this is the origin where y and x both will be 0 when x will be 1 y will be 2 and so on so our equation to this graph will be something like this one so this will be our graph of first equation now the second equation is y equal to minus 2 so y equal to minus 2 will be somewhat here we have y equal to minus 2 where this point is equal to 0 comma minus 2 now our third equation given is y equal to 2 so y equal to 2 will be somewhere here where our this point given is 0 comma 2 now our third equation is y equal to minus 2x so y equal to minus 2x will be somewhere here opposite to y equal to 2x so this will be our y equal to minus 2x so we have basically got our graph so our common graph so the graph of this total equation will be like this from here we have sorry from not this one so let us draw a better one so here we have our so yep so here we have our first okay so let this be like this only so our second line is here and our third line is this one so you can see our graph so this is our graph let me draw it here yeah so this is our graph of equation y equal to mod x minus 1 plus mod x plus 1 and let point this point which is half comma 1 so half comma 1 which means x is half so x will be somewhat here and y is 1 so this one is 0 comma 2 so we will have a point here which is 0 comma 1 so here we have y equal to 1 let this point be our x equal to half so the point given is here this purple one which is half comma 1 so this distance as you can see this distance is as you can see this distance is one units 
because this point is 0 comma 2 and this point is 0 comma 1 so this distance is 0 1 unit and we have a straight line here and we have our point here so this distance will also be equal to 1 unit so this is our graph and this is our point therefore the distance between them is 1 units so now let's check the options option number a matches with our answer that is 1 therefore this is the correct answer to this question now let's move on to our next question that is question number 97 so question 97 says if the square of the seventh term of an arithmetic progression okay so here we have been given an arithmetic progression so we need to proceed with our a p formats with positive common difference okay so here we have positive common difference therefore a p is moving forward equals the product of the third and 17th term okay so the square of the seventh term is equal to the product of the third and 17th term then the ratio of the first term to the common differences okay so we need to find the ratio of the first term to the common difference so let us assume our first term be let our first term and common difference b a and d so basically this is our first term and this is our common difference so our seventh term will be first term plus 6 into d that is 6 times the common difference is added and here we have the square of the seventh term so this is square equal to the product of the third term and the 17th term so the third term will be first term plus 2 times the common difference and the 17th term will be first term plus 17 uh, sorry 16 times the common difference here we will have 16 times the common difference so this is our equation so now let's solve this simplify this to find the ratio between the a and d that is the first term and the common difference so this will be a square plus 36 d square plus 12 ad that is a plus b whole square formula and here we have a square plus 2ad plus 16ad plus 32d square we have simply opened the brackets now let's take the a square and each term this side so this a square gets cancelled out 36d square minus 32d square gives 4d square equal to here we have 16ad plus 12ad gets 18ad and here we have plus 12ad so this minus 12ad this will give 4d square equal to 6ad so 2d cancels out from both the sides so 2d gets here it we are left with only 2d and here we are left with 3a so from this we can say that a by d will be equal to 2 by 3 so a is to d is equal to 2 is to 3 so this is our first term and the ratio between the first term is to the common difference is 2 is to 3 so let's check the options so option number uh, 2 is to 3 that is option number a matches with our answer hence option a is the correct answer to question 97 so i will like to end this video here you will find solutions to the further questions in our next video